on today's episode of I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. We are currently on our way over to the shop because we are hopefully getting the Jeep back on the road today. There isn't a lot stopping us. Shout out to my brother for taking the gas tank out and started on, getting started on the Jeep already and for picking me up and bringing me over. So, plan is cut the old rust out of the frame, mold and put the new frame, piece of the, or not frame, unibody, sorry. Put part of the new unibody in there, get the new gas tank in there, and we're gonna have to make holes for this rear bumper to go back on. But hopefully, everything goes kind of smoothly. Hopefully we're not here all day long trying to get this thing running. But, it's happening. All right guys, so we're at the shop. Jeep's on the lift. We kind of started getting at it already. As you can see, there's no gas tank. Now, the gas tank's outside. You can't see the holes anyways, or I'd show you guys, but there was three tiny holes in the gas tank where the gas was falling out of. But the bigger issue here is my unibody. So this is, as you can tell, it's, it's not even connected right here. You can see straight through. And then on this side, it's just a ginormous hole. So the game plan is to use this metal here to cover up this area. But first we're going to cut out all the rust and then we're cleaning up spots right there to be able to weld to. And then we're just gonna shape that up, cut it up, stick it in there. Easier said than done. So this is just a little template of where holes need to be for the filler neck and the, or yeah, for these tubes for the fuel tank and where the leaf, uh, leaf spring shackle goes. <laughs> My dad originally started using that to cut and then decided to grab a plasma cutter and waste some dice with the plasma. So bumper is off. We took the spare tire off, obviously, to get the bumper off. Um, 
we cut out the template my dad made. Now we're kind of just tack welding, or they're kind of tack welding in this side of the frame, slash unibody. And then we're gonna get it the right way. Hold this here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a. It's pulling the whole human body. Hey, fishy, fishy. Ow, it's pulling my hair, kind of like your mom. Ha, <laughs> got him. Please don't judge my welds, I don't do this. I just do it for fun sometimes. <laughs> Good catch, great catch. Thanks, Papa. Wow, you're strong. <laughs> well guys, this side of the Jeep is done. I don't know who welded it. And a template was drawn up for this side. And we plasma cut it everything out. This is where the bolt holes are gonna go for the brackets for the rear bumper. This is where the tubes come through for the gas tank. And my brother started tack welding a little bit and now he's getting into welding it on completely. But it's coming along. We still gotta finish up welding and getting the whole, the new gas tank in completely and everything hooked back up. And by- up is a new shield. And by we, I mean him and my dad, because I'm worthless on working on this stuff. Next, we need to get an aftermarket skid plate for that thing. Heavy duty. Make one out of that. what's left there. Just weld a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> together. That'd be a lot of welding. <laughs> guys so everything is welded in now this wire right here is a turn signal wire my dad's working on there's a long story behind that from a previous owner somewhere along the lines but the Jeep has a little bit of an undercoating on it now so after my dad's done with that then it's time for the part that broke the new gas tank going in and then we have to Put the bumper back on in the spare tire and everything will hopefully be good when we try to start it and drive it is it going Yes, that's right, that's homemade, boys. That's homemade, boys. Boy. Well, fortunately enough, there's a gas station right across the street from the shop. Unfortunately enough, as the gate was opening, opening the Jeep died. So, I mean, we put a little bit of gas in the gas tank 
I don't know how much should have been enough to get over. Sadly, it wasn't. But the Jeep's back, guys. And after I put gas in it, I mean, I'll talk to you guys. But I mean, I'm freaking excited. I missed this thing. I've had. It's been exactly two weeks. Well, two Saturdays ago, the Jeep unfortunately had a little mishap. We're back in business, almost, almost officially back in business. And here comes my dad to save the day to get me over to the gas station. Well, 20 gallons in the Jeep, most I've ever fit in it. There goes my dad. Follow my dad on Instagram for not only working on my Jeep all the time and saving the day, but because my dad's just absolutely effing awesome. Jeep is back. We are back in business. I'm excited. I've like i said it's been two weeks since i've had this thing um and it was heartbreaking to watch it leave roush creek on a trailer but it happened new gas tank is installed um unibody slash frame is fixed pretty it's pretty darn good um So, this upcoming week, I'm possibly going to be looking at another Cherokee. Um, and if I do get one or go look at one, you guys will know. Uh, check me out on Instagram at jeepin underscore daily. And before I forget, like I said, check out my dad. I'll put his Instagram on the screen. And of course, check out my brother also at bbutt13. Uh, he's always a big help, especially within the past year or two since he's gotten his license he's always been there to help me out so a huge shout out to my dad and brother as always go give them a follow on instagram and my brother's talking about making a youtube channel so when he does i'll be sure to plug his youtube channel but that's gonna do it for this video guys if you enjoyed leave a thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button down below if you're excited that the xj is back in business let me know because i know for damn sure I am excited, but I will see you guys next video. Peace out.